Hi, I'm Kat Weixel from Pate Group, and today I want to show you how to add pronouns in Microsoft Teams. So this is a relatively new feature that Microsoft Teams has rolled out, and this is something that has to be turned on by an administrator in your tenant before you can actually start using this. I'm in as Diego, and I'm in the Microsoft Teams desktop application. All I've got to do is click on my profile picture, and then I'm just going to click on my name. And as you can see, I have the ability to add pronouns. This is because this is turned on in this tenant. If I click add pronouns, this is optional. I can choose to display pronouns so that others can see my pronouns. And they give um, basic examples, but you can also type your own. I'm just gonna put in he, him as the pronouns for Diego and click save. And now the pronouns are updated and people looking at Diego's profile are going to see his pronouns. So let's see what that looks like. So I'm again in as Diego, but I'm gonna look at some other folks here. So I'm gonna go into my chat and I'm gonna start, let's see, with Nestor. I wanna just take a look at his profile. So I'm going to hover over it and I see that there are no pronouns listed for Nestor. That's because Nestor has either not added his pronouns yet or has chosen not to add pronouns. Again, this is an optional setting. Uh, if I go to Megan, however, and I hover over Megan's profile picture, I can see she does have pronouns. So she, her are Megan's pronouns and I can see that right here. So this is where you're going to see other people's pronouns if and when they have chosen to add them. Uh, this I hope to see in other places as well because while it's really helpful here to go and look at the profile information in Teams and see uh, the person's pronouns. I think it would be really helpful to see it in Teams meetings when you see the person's name in a Teams meeting. I'm not sure if that's something Microsoft's planning to eventually incorporate. That's not something I've seen so far. This is the only place I'm seeing the pronouns listed, but that's where I'm, I'm hoping they'll probably also add them just because um, that would be very helpful in a Teams meeting, especially if you're in there with a bunch of new people, just to make sure you get their pronouns correct while you are speaking with them in that meeting. So hoping Microsoft adds that in. Now, let's just take one quick look at if you are a global administrator, where you can turn this on so that your entire organization has the ability to add pronouns. Let's take a look at that. So now I'm in as a global administrator in this same tenant that Diego's in. And I wanna show you where the global administrator turns this feature on. So I'm gonna to go to admin, settings, org settings, security and privacy, and pronouns. This is a new option that your global administrators are gonna see in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So this is already turned on. As you saw, Diego had the option to add them. Megan already had them on. So this is where it is. If the global administrator hasn't done this yet, when they come in here, this is going to not be checked off. And all they have to do is check the box and hit save to turn that feature on so that the organization can start adding pronouns. I recommend uh, turning this on at the global tenant level. That's the only way to do it. Uh, once that's turned on, put out some kind of message to your organization, letting them know this feature is turned on and how they can go ahead and start adding their own pronouns and remind them that it's optional, uh, but encourage folks, if you can, to do so. And that way we can all be a little more inclusive. All right. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.